Today we awaken the king. Here's your look at the new Star Ace Kong Skull Island Kong vs. Skull Crawler vinyl figure set. Brave the dangers of a mysterious island where few dare to venture. This release from Star Ace under their new Monsterverse lineup. First thing we'll do is figure out how tall the statue stands. It's a little bit smaller than some of uh, Star Ace's previous outings. To get the exact measurements, I'm going to put the tape measure right to the very top. There we go. Stopping it right there. The statue stands collectively eight point, well, eight inches in height. Centimeter wise, however, we'll switch that over. You're looking at 20.3 centimeters tall getting it out of box. It actually comes in three components, the main statue, the display base, and the support strut that's going to hold the skull crawler. As you can really see though, the statue finds stands fine really on its own. It doesn't even need a display stand, but nonetheless the display stand does add a little extra umph. And I'm all about extra umphs when it comes to displaying these pieces. Astute viewers will probably see that there's a hole on the side that will be for the adjusted the neck that's going to sit onto the side. I'll show you how all that comes together in a second. An oval shaped black display base, flip it around, Skull Island, Kong Skull Island. We've got Monsterverse and Legendary down below that. No felt feet or anything like that. On the other side, the main side, of course, the side that you're going to be displaying the statue atop of, you've got Kong Skull Island. Skull Island. Tongue Twister, Skull Island. A nice combination of blues and greens. I don't know if I'm actually looking, I guess, at the top view. Is this a river or am I looking up and this is the treetops and this is the sky? Either way, though, whatever you deduce this as being, again, it's a nice combination of blues and greens. Although part of me kind of wishes for this being a tie-in to Skull Island, I wish that they would have actually made use of oranges and some warmer colors that make more obvious standout colors in the movie posters and promotional artwork where oranges and reds and the warmer colors seem to be a little bit more prevalent. Here again they went with blue and green and again whether you're looking at it from the top or you're looking at it down below it, st it still is nice. Still would have liked the orange touches to that but it does showcase the statue rather nicely. Speaking of displaying the statue rather nicely, what you are going to do is you're going to take this, this post and you're going to attach it just into the hole like so. You're going to want to have it so the clip basically is facing inward. And to, uh, to show you, to demonstrate then why I did it this way, we're going to then take the statue. Now, the statue itself doesn't attach to anything. There's no pegs. Those nothing really supporting Kong. I mean, it's just simply a case where you can display any which way that you want. But the clip here primarily is suited to hold the tail, the tail of the skull crawler, just to kind of give it some extra support so it doesn't tip forward or doesn't fall down. It finishes off the statue rather nicely. Again, the statue stands fine on its own. There's the proof in the pudding right there. But again, it's just a nice little 
way to finish up, like I said, finish up the overall look of the statue. And that little support on the side is just really to brace the tail, kind of cradle the tail and kind of support the skull crawler upright. I'm gonna take this off and we're just gonna move this over just to the side because really the focus of this review from this point further should really be the exquisite detail that they've put into this super stylized rendition of both King Kong and one of the skull crawlers that he fights in the film. Now, again, these are more stylized, not quite cartoony, but you can certainly see that proportionately Kong is, while well, his body is much shorter, it's about the size actually of his head, is about the same size as his body. Despite for the fact it's smaller, despite for the fact it's a little bit more like I said, stylistic, they definitely packed a lot of detailing a lot of little intricate uh, carvings and sculptings here in the face for such a small statured statue. You can see that the teeth are done exquisitely well. I love the fact that they've added this little sheen to his tongue. You can almost just imagine if you put your tongue, your finger on the tongue, which probably would not be something that Kong would enjoy, you would move your finger away and expect to find slime all over it. This is something that at least from the statue standpoint, not something that you would want to recreate with Kong if you met him in person, although he'd be way up there. Uh, it's a much drier experience. There's no slime or anything coming off of his tongue. So a nice job by incorporating that little slick coat over top of his tongue. The tongue even itself is textured. You can see the little bumps and all the little, uh, yeah, there we go. All the little bumps and ridges and stuff on his tongue. The teeth are sculpted quite nicely, not sharp or anything like that. You can put your finger to it and it doesn't feel, it feels pricky, but it doesn't feel sharp. Some added additional yellowing and brown have been added to the teeth. The gums have a nice treated gold, kind of, not gold, but burgundy color with some additional grays added in there as well. A nice little touch is that they added the grays around the areas of the teeth, slightly indicating that maybe the gums are a decayed, slightly decayed, or have an infection. Speaking of which, you can imagine the dentist who would want to be going in there and cleaning, regularly cleaning Kong's teeth. It does look like there's a little bit of plaque and a little bit of decay in there as well. Again, not something that I'm sure Kong is going to worry all that much about. I do love the piercing nature of his eyes. Now, we have already had a look at another Star Ace release, and that was the Kong Vinyl Statue, an exquisite accompanying piece. This is, again, a nice accompanying piece, but just a little bit smaller, a little bit more smaller in stature. you got these big, giant claws gashing their way through the torso area here of Kong, stretched much further out than the Vinyl Statue of Kong, which had it just, I believe, around one of the pectoral muscles. The fur is done very nicely here. More a combination of what looks to be two colors. Primarily, it looks like Kong's main initial color is the dark gray, and then they've just brushed over top of it a lighter brown. So you can see like that the out, the furthest out hairs are really the ones that get the treatment of the brown, where the more recessed areas are all the areas that stay still relatively gray. There's the undersides of Kong's feet. I would assure you that if you met Kong in person, you probably wouldn't have made in Bangladesh printed on the underside, nor would it have 2018 stars. Wrapped around, however, his leg is a giant tail. And you can see as it, as it ends its way down here, we can follow it all the way around, around Kong's legs, up the back of his torso, and making its way then into the skull crawler which we really haven't gotten, sadly, many instances of Skull Crawler in a physical form, a statue that you could appreciate and relish in. I thought the designs of them were rather neat and Kong, Kong Skull Island. There goes that tongue twister again. Kind of like a, literally, like a skeletal-like creature that moves across the land. Uh, here, you can kind of see a little bit better glance of what it would have looked like, just a little bit smaller several rows of teeth, not in an accurate, organized fashion. You can see that they're kind of sporadically placed around the bottom area of its jaw. Once again, you got the slight slick in the interior there. Even like the tongue has a sheen that's been added to it, if you can call it a tongue. 
it's actually forked out into rather three individual little tendons of skin that looks like it wants to wrap its way around Kong's face as well. Still kept to kind of grays here. The primary base coat is probably like a darkish, probably that color right there. And then they've added this exquisite additional kind of beiges, beige and grays over top of that. You can see like the skin is almost like a similar hide to that of an elephant. Of course, elephants won't have these protruding spinal uh, bones sticking out the top here. And again, here is where you start getting a little bit more of that beige happening. None of the statue is posable. It's staction by nature. So in other words, the way that you are displaying it literally right now is the way that you're going to be displaying it years to come. What I think you're getting from something so small is still exquisitely sculpted, painted detail that only Star Ace seems to be able to do. Now, one thing that I wish I put my two hands together and I have myself a wish sandwich, seeing how good that they've done with Kong. If you haven't done the if you haven't done the service of going and watching the review of that, feel free to check it out after this video. But the Kong vinyl statue that we had already previously had a look at is certainly more rooted in realistic sculpts. Proportionately, this one, like I said, a little bit smaller. The head is bigger on Kong. Uh, he looks a little bit more cartoony versus the more realistic nature of the uh, the more realistic, like I said, vinyl statue that we had to look at a Kong. What I wish, though, going back to my wish sandwich, oh, so wish, I so wish, I wish with Star Ace, they've done such a great job on Kong that we looked at with that previous vinyl figure. I'd love them to them also approach a skull crawler in the same size or proportionately in the same size as the uh, Kong that we already had a look at in more realistic sculpts. I mean, again, I really love the combination of these two combatants fighting with one another, but seeing how well they've done with that other Kong statue, so, so would love to see Star Ace approach uh, also a skull crawler in that same, same fashion and same sculpting. Now, I am a man of many tastes. Anyone who has followed this channel long enough, thank you for doing that, by the way, will probably know from all the stuff that I've reviewed on this channel that I like various collectibles. On the one end, I really like realistic sculpts, something that, looking at it, looks like it was pulled directly from the film. Polar end to that, I also like stylized versions of things as well. Things that are a little bit more off proportions, but something that you can kind of admire sitting on a desk. This is kind of where it takes us into the territory here of the Kong versus Skullcrawler vinyl figure set from Star Ace. We've already again looked at the Kong, and I've mentioned that already, that I really like the sculpting. I really like the sculpting of that vinyl statue. But this one has a charm to it that I quite rather enjoy. I like the fact that they were managed to put both combatants together in one complete statue. And when you look at it, there's a lot to admire. There's a lot of flow and action really being depicted with this smaller scale statue. Kong proportionally, and really as well, the Skull Crawler proportionally are a little out of scale and out of their own proportions to the way they looked in the film. But again, I really do like that. There's something charming about this particular set. It does come with a display stand, as we've already discussed in this review, but it really doesn't need a stand. It stands perfectly fine on its own, but the statue base sort of wraps things up rather nicely and kind of give it, gives it the finishing touches that I think it deserves when you have it out on display. Some good news though, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, the Star Ace Kong Skull Island Kong and Skull Crawler vinyl figure set, not really sure how I'm gonna be able to get that all in a title, should be available now if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself. FYI though, if you have just finished this video and have thought to yourself, I don't remember, recall seeing this guy's review of the Kong vinyl statue. Do yourself a favor, go back and have a look at it. We had looked at the standard release, there was also a limited release of that Kong, but that is a fantastic, fantastic piece. I have it currently out on display in my office, and it's something I admire to this day. I'm actually probably going to put this one right next door to it, and even though they are very different, the fact that they are both from Kong Skull Island gives them a unity to it. And of course, one can appreciate the two different approaches that Star Ace did with the King of the Jungle, King Kong. 
Today, once again, we were having a look at the Starry's Kong Skull Island Kong and Skull Crawler Crawler vinyl figure set. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more Star Ace reviews will be coming soon to this channel. Stay tuned for that. If you also wanted to go back and have a look at all the things I previously looked at for Star Ace, and they've done a whole range of six scale figures, one eighth scale figures, and of course statues that we're looking at in, like in this instance, feel free to check out also my Star Ace playlist that'll encompass and cover off everything I've done up to this point, FYI. More videos, guys, will be coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.